Carly's brief history is the fact that her owner was suffering from cancer and took her to the vet and asked to have her put down because she couldn't look after her. The vet was one of those which will not put down a healthy dog. And as you can see here, she likes having a little one round with the others. It seems to have brought back a new lease of life to Tess, who seems to be running about more as well, which is not bad for a 14 year old dog. Kylie doesn't seem to like me going too far from her and will run up and run back to me and she likes to know exactly where I am. The beauty of this path is, is that the holiday makers don't know about it and it's quite secluded. One can also see how much they have developed their own pack and do like to stick together and know where each other is. It is also important to, to remember that they are elderly dogs and for some unknown reason they seem to get a new lease of life and they don't have any stress which helps quite a lot. Come on. Go on, I do recommend seriously looking at taken on an elder dog over 10 years old. It's what they can give us this is important.
Kylie <laughs> seems to get annoyed if I make a fuss of all the other dogs and not of her. Both Tess and Kylie are both needy dogs. In about three hours of Tess suddenly appearing on the doorstep, actually she was, she came from Lab Rescue and was brought to me. A jet fighter flew overhead 300 feet up above us and I think you can guess what the noise was like. Kylie sort of looked up, startled. What was that noise? She looked around and saw that none of the others were worried. Looked at me, saw I wasn't worried, and just went back to having a kip on the floor. They, they do take the lead from each other. One of the things I'm having to get used to is the fact because of these are elderly dogs, how many will be with me next year? Tess here, she's 14 now. Prince is around the 14 mark, coming up to 14. And Sheba, who stays at home, she's 16. It is important also to remember that the quality of life that they have means also that they also give you a, a quality of life. I don't think I'd want to be alone in the bungalow without the five of them, even Sheba. They do give a lot back. <laughs>